Welcome to the Golf Swing Weekly Fix. Every Tuesday evening, 8.30 UK time, my name is Mark Crossfield, and today we're taking a look, a close look, at Lee Westwood, Luke Donald, and Andy Sullivan's Golf Swing 3 European Tour and PGA Tour players um, that I've been lucky enough to play with because I share with you my thoughts, a little bit of playing with them. I've got another video talking about that as well coming out. Um, but also, this uh, is a good opportunity to take a little look at their swing nice and close from some of the footage I managed to take with them. Let's get stuck in. So we all watch golfers on telly playing these great shots when you get to play with them and up close with them, which I've been lucky enough to do. It's always very interesting, especially for me. Uh, I've got some numbers as well captured um, of their actual flights, apart from Lee Westwood, but we will be able to guess that a little bit as well from um, the kind of numbers that I would expect him to produce from walking alongside with him, playing with him. But let's take a little close look at their golf swing. We're going to start with Lee Westwood um, to begin and see what you could learn from these three players and what you should also think about forgetting when it comes to thinking about your golf swing. So if we take a little look at Lee to start us off here, um, very good solid base in his posture and in his balance position at the beginning. Um, he does look a little bit more balls of his feet to almost heels on this image. And you're also going to see a bit of a rounded back at the top, not that kind of bolt straight Adam posture, uh, Adam Scott posture that so many people strive to. He's working with his shape. He's very big top body uh, Lee. He's got solid really all over, to be honest. He's a big guy. Um, I think that's just more his natural shape. If we move into his backswing, uh, what we're going to see, it's uh, a very neutral kind of takeaway. So moving the club back. From the angle we're shooting at here, possibly he's got the club a little bit out in front of his hands. You remember we're kind of slightly at an angle to him um, as he moves back into his backswing. Nice set, nice angle as he takes the club back. All makes sense. And this is a really interesting point. Definite straightening of his right leg. So common still, and I hear it in commentary still about retaining the flex in your right knee. He does not do that. Um, there is a change of flex. And also left foot getting quite funky there. He's getting his left foot off the ground. Uh, Jack Nicholas did the same thing. Arnold Palmer. So he's very active in his lower half, isn't he? Very active. Now he's pushing in that ground and relieving pressure from that ground. Now if we move into Lee's downswing, he's got a very quirky movement, which I'm sure lots of you know as he moves into impact. We start seeing the left arm really start to buckle. Uh, he gets a left arm bending as he comes down and into impact. Now this shot that he hits on the first hole here, close house, fades. If you look at this video, you would think that club is going to approach from the inside. I think a common mistake used by so many amateurs checking themselves with all the mobile devices and what have you. Now he's hitting two or three across this ball to get his little gentle cut that he normally hits. Uh, right foot coming up. Hips starting to rotate through, but very shut with his upper body for such a late stage into impact because of that left arm buckling. Uh, very quirky to Lee. And then coming through into impact, club now starts diving left. Right foot really coming up, hips and shoulders opening up into quite a low rounded follow through as Lee tries to get that little kind of cutty fade. So interesting in his posture, certainly not the straightest back that lots of people strive for. Right leg, left foot coming up and right leg straightening. Again, something that lots of people are taught not to do. Um, and a little bit of a quirky impact, but you've got one of the most successful European tour players out there winning more tournaments than anyone else. Um, lots to learn from that swing. It's powerful and it's that gentle little cut as well. So if we move on now, let's move on to Luke Donald, uh, known with a very beautiful swing, was has been world number one and won tournaments all around the world, successful Ryder Cup player as well. So if we take Luke's address position compared to someone like Lee's, Luke looks a little bit more onto a balls to toes, where Lee looked more sunk back in his heels, um, but not much in that, both very solid bases to start from. Now, if we take Luke back into his backswing, we see the club face turning more down to the ground than we saw on Lee's image, uh, to do with where Lee, uh, Luke holds it, a little bit stronger in his grip. We see a definite changing of flex in his right knee as well. Left foot stays on the ground. Very neat top of the backswing position with the club face, what people would call slightly twisted. So for me, what people understand is closed at the top of the backswing, which we saw in that early takeaway. So that face to the left arm. 
Now, as we come in down into Luke's downswing, this is the quirky bit with Luke, what he makes, uh, his little twists and turns that he puts into how he makes them functional, is he delivers the handle much higher than where he started. So his handle does raise up quite a lot. We see that kind of pushing forward with his lower half, his backside, that early extension, as people would call it, and that straighter upper body as he comes in to hit the ball. So he's using lie, the control face the path, because he's putting a twist in there that's pointing the face slightly left, because he was also hitting a very functional tiny cut with his shots where I always saw Luke as someone who hit a draw. Absolutely not, he was hitting a little cut as a standard shot. You've got to remember both of these players could shape it both ways whenever they needed to. Um, but this shot he hits here just cuts against the wind and stays up the right, misses a very narrow fairway by not that much. It was a pretty good drive. Um, I've got his numbers, I think this one flew, uh, flew through the air because it was all carry, no wind Shot reading. Nine, he was carrying this one two, two eight, three. two through Launching the air. 11, um, not bad when trying to hit uh, a two, very, eight, very two, narrow fairway. So he has that slight push forward, high hands, using the lie of the club to balance, face the path a little bit, while also swinging slightly left to get his little cut. And then coming through again into a slightly higher finish for Luke, but one that lots of people relate to with lots of style. And he's, he definitely wins on the style points, Luke does. Um, but I see textbook movements in there. So his posture and what have you, some of the angles he sets. But there's little twists in there that people would try and take out if they saw it on video in their swing, where Luke is managing those angles. And I see no coral uh, kind of... Um, evidence showing that those angles are harder to manage if you're a 20 handicap or a 10 handicap or a tour player it's player specific lots of people have that argument that oh he's a better player so he can manage that twist absolutely not i don't see any evidence of that with many students that i teach very classic position with a few twists and a higher handle which i think you just don't see when you're watching on telly so also has its slightly quirky positions so if we now go on to andy sullivan interesting start position for andy he is much more looking like he's on his toes, isn't he? To someone like Lee, for instance. And that's kind of almost the person he is. He's much more kind of, Lee was very relaxed, chilled out kind of a guy. Uh, and he was as well, but he was much more buzzy, kind of like, you know, up on it kind of thing. And he looks ready for it there, doesn't he? Almost kind of posture suiting his personality a little bit more. Uh, very neutral in what he does with his posture and his swing. Uh, backswing looks fine again, we're shooting at a slight angle. Light was worse on this day, so we get a bit more blur on the club. Uh, very good angle on the way back for what he wants to do. Much more um, standard in his lower half, like Luke, uh, compared to Lee. But also losing and changing flex in his right knee. All three of them doing that, and you'll struggle to find a good player who doesn't. Trying to keep that right knee flex, forget it guys and girls. Um, downswing, this is his quirky movement. His hands tend to move out, so they just tend to move out as he flattens that shaft on the downswing. Then what we see is a massive buckling of the left foot and ankle. Amazing uh, picture this one for Andy. And you see this from lots of players who are trying to hit the ball hard. Bubba's famous as well for this. I mean, what part of him is touching the ground there? He is trying to unweight, trying to get himself off the ground to create as much energy, putting it into that shaft, then out onto that ball. Andy's numbers again, hitting a little fade like they all were. He carried this ball, 294 again, forget conditions, my uh, launch monitor is using this, 294 through the air. I would say Andy and Lee have very similar numbers, where Luke uh, maybe, what's that? 12 yards, 10 yards in carry behind at the very most. Um, and they all had more to give. So all of them ticking a power kind of box. So Andy's hand still out slightly in front of him. Then we see him start pulling left on the way through to again a very low and a rounded finish similar to Lee, trying to hit a little cut. Wim was off the right this one so it didn't cut as much as he wanted, but you can see the shape was there. Um, interesting positions from all three. No one's following the same ideas. Much straighter in Andy's posture, isn't he? He's much more classic, just that pressure a little bit more forward. For me, it's about, for all you guys and girls that are trying to get better, it's about managing what you bring. So much that I see still is about trying to hit this position and that position and the right position, where you can see from three European and PGA Tour players there who've won multiple events between them, doing it in very different ways. And please don't hang on to the standard issue, as in they're tour pros, so they can do it that way. There is no evidence to back that up. 
Um, it's it's not a get out. People think when they when they respond that way that's a get out. It's not. It's not true. Um, you can manage your quirkiness and still play better golf. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Periscope, all the normal social places. Also, come and visit my new website, markcrossfieldgolf.com. See you over there.